Yo, what's up? My name is Petrowski, and I'm currently 53,296 encounters dry on my current shiny hunt. So, I'm bad at shiny hunting. So what? Maybe I should try out some PvP and see how that goes. I haven't played PvP in months. I'm not an active PvP player. I really respect PvP, and I really enjoy keeping an eye on it from the outside. I'm going to go ahead and screenshot this party to make sure I have everything over here on the side, all the information. Since I know they changed it a little bit to hide the sort of items and everything. So, we've got an Air Balloon Ninetales. That's that's actually hyper relevant that'll be a super interesting pokemon to watch in this match and then also watch in future matches if i play more randoms after this one's we have shadow sneak choice band sableye that's going to be super relevant especially facing down a zangoose which one's faster here it's expected speed 183 versus 199 if this thing is it might have extreme speed it could have swords dance the scary thing switching out against this thing I'm sitting here trying to think. The scary thing switching out against Sableye is definitely, um, uh, yeah, it having access to Belly Drum or Sword Stance or something crazy. So part of me wants to stay in here and go for a sub. Sub is a pretty safe play here because I get to scout whatever he does. I might go ahead and go for that. I'm faster. I'm going to go ahead and go for the sub play. I think it's the safest play. Let's see if he goes for something crazy. Nope, just a return. Okay. Good to see. So now I can take that information and then go ahead and switch over to Sableye. That does pop my air balloon, which is kind of unfortunate, but I think it's still worth to do. I'm going to go ahead and go Sableye here. He might be choice banded Zangoose. We'll see. He probably knew that I couldn't kill him in one attack, which is relevant. CC, my Sableye is going to tank super easily, obviously. Me have a nasty plot on that nine tails. I really do want to preserve it in a situation where I could super abuse that. Now, I'm not going to blindly trick here. A lot, a lot, One of the biggest mistakes I see a lot of randoms players would go ahead and click trick click trick there i'm gonna go ahead and go for a drain punch tentacruel comes in we get some more information i'm not gonna do much damage here at all and it has liquid is honestly 20 percent is more than i expected i'll happily take that the question become is he gonna be able to set up toxic spikes do i have to worry about that i have a pelipper i can switch to with defog do i have pelipper with the fog to get rid of toxic spikes and such i feel like that's probably the play but i'm trying to think i can't hydro pump into this if he giga drains me or something. Hmm. I could also just go Ambipom. Ambipom could actually be insane here. I could switch Ambipom. Go fake out into like U-turn or beat up. This thing is kind of a... This thing's more of a... I always forget if Tentacle is special defensively or defensive. I think it's more special defensive. Right? Yeah. I'm actually going to make the, um, the Ambipom play. It's kind of aggressive. But I think Ambipom could just get so much value here. Yeah, he goes for the Giga Drain. That's okay. I'm totally fine with that. So now I can go ahead and go for a... Like, Giga Drain would have done decent damage to my Pelipper, honestly. What did it take damage from? Its own Liquid Ooze? What was the... It did just heal. I don't, I don't know. That was strange. Uh, I'm going for a Fake Out. I think it might have just been actually just the recovery, I guess. I'm not sure. That was interesting. I'm going to go Fake Out here. Fake Out doing 42% damage. This is why I always talk about how absolutely busted APOM is in, like, NU. Uh, I'm going to go up for beat up here, which is definitely going to kill it. Let's see what Pokemon he brings in. I have Ambipom, Life Orb with beat up. I think this might one-shot, like, most Pokemon that he brings in here. He could go Zangoose and use, like, Quick Attack. If he's choice banded, he's not banded Zangoose. We actually know that because we saw him click Return and then go for the next move. No way he brings this in. I'm faster. Wait, this is actually the perfect opportunity for me to try to kill this Pokemon. I'm faster here. This is actually so good. Jumpluff is one of the most annoying Pokemon in all of randoms. He's obviously going to go for like Leech Seed sub shenanigans here. But he can't even do that against Beat Up. It's a multi-hit move. Beat Up is so perfect here. I, I think I just U-turn here. The question is, what do I U-turn into if you're going to go for a Seed Bomb? Yeah, U-turn's going to be fantastic here. I could U-turn over to... I'm scared to go something slower. I could just go Ninetales here pretty safely. I think U-turn into Ninetales is pretty solid. U-turn doing 27%. It's going to leave him... I think he technically... Can he substitute at that HP? I'm not even totally sure. I could even go over to Clefable and go for a Belly Drum. I have belly. I just realized I have belly drum, salic berry, fable. You know what? This is probably going to be the best spot in the entire game, which I can go for this stupid play. So I'm going to go for it. Acrobatics does do a lot there, actually. 44% HP. Holy shit. Okay. 
if that's the damage, I'm just going to go ahead and go for a fire punch. I'm going to tank the next acrobatics. I'm going to kind of lose my Clefable here a little bit, but it's worth it to keep my Apom around because my Apom is just so much more powerful. So I'm going to go for fire punch here. Interesting. I technically could have belly drummed there, but it would have been so unhinged. What is this thing's hidden ability or hidden power? I might go for... No, belly drum's too unhinged here. Because he just clicks hidden power. Is it going to be hidden power fighting? Most likely, right? I kind of want to go Sableye here because it was hidden power fighting or... Yeah, I think Sableye is pretty safe here always. And then I could go Shadow Sneak into it. Yeah, I really like Sableye here, actually. Like, Sableye is really good here. Tricking the Choice Band onto this unknown, making it pretty, you know, that hurts it a lot. Hidden power. Yeah, I'm immune to it. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Uh, he still has his Zangus in the back. So, I kind of want to double switch here. Because my opponent is obviously going to switch. I'm going to switch over to Ambipom. He definitely should switch here. I'm going to go Ambipom and get a free fake out out of this. Yep. Or uh, some sort of attack. Yup, this is super good for me. So I double switch out to Ambipom. Read him like a book. I don't want to go for fake out here because that would go ahead and kill my Ambipom with life orb. I still take life orb damage if I go for a U-turn. I think I just go for a beat up here. Hilarious. I don't think low kick kills. I'm going to go for beat up doing 40.7% damage. Honestly, not great. I'm a little scared of this thing. Shell smashing. Hidden power. Okay, that's fine. What can we bring in to take care of this thing? We could, br we could bring in... Nine tails and energy ball. Do we ever want to set up rain? Do we want to do we want to show the energy ball? I think we do. I think nine tails energy ball is super super safe here. I could nasty plot if I expect him to switch out, but I don't know if he'll even expect me to have energy ball. Yeah, so I'm gonna go for it. That's kind of what I was worried. That's why I don't want a nasty plot there because I don't I don't know if he just I think he won't expect me to have energy ball, so I'm gonna go for it there. We're 13 turns in at a pretty strong lead here, looking 5 to 4. I've been feeling pretty in control of this entire battle, but that could honestly change really quickly. I don't see a reason not to nasty plot here. What's my item? I lost it. It was air balloon. I think I nasty plot and go for flamethrower, but I could... Is there any reason? I'm trying to think. What? Why would he go mischievous here? Should I just go Clefable? What does he have here? Clefable can't really hit it though. I don't know what move he's going for here. I don't know what this Mischievous is trying to do. Like, just a Shadow Ball or something? I really don't know what's going to happen here. I think Nasty Plot's fine. It's a pretty, like... Yeah, I think I'm fine with this. So I just... I don't know what he's... I think, he, I think it's just, like, the most neutral Pokemon to go into me. Yeah, only doing 27% with the Shadow Ball. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and go for Flamethrowers now. And I should do pretty big damage. Stab Flamethrower into any Pokemon on his team is going to do really good damage. 50% there. Hopefully, it's Eevee Light Mischievous so he doesn't have recovery. Yeah, so now I can go ahead and Flamethrower here. This might be a roll. He might live this, actually, if I low roll. I don't know. It depends on what the roll was last turn. There's no way he goes for a switch here. Right? It's possible he switches to Unknown just to, like, sack it because he values his Mischievous over it. Which might be fit, which might kind of be smart. Yeah, that's kind of not Zangoose. I don't know why you he's gonna die. Yeah, I don't know why you would go Zangoose here. Like even if you quick attack me, I could respect the unknown. Ooh, Citrus. Oh, Citrus Bird, not Salic. You could have quick attack here and kill me, but I could technically just go uh Sableye. Sableye is probably the objectively better play here. Um, because he probably has he probably has quick attack. Yep, that's what I expected. Sableye is the better play there for sure, but I actually just live the quick attack, so always lucky. Yeah, I know Sableye is the technically better play there, but this is a little quicker, kind of being a little greedy. Dumpluff comes in and is faster than me. I just stay in, I was always, and go for the flamethrower because he could technically go for some weird play. Like a swords swords dance predicting my switch. That's probably one of the only ways he wins here. All right, that takes me down. So I don't have anything faster in the back now that what's called is down. Acrobatics does do a lot of damage to me. I'm trying to think. It's fire Punch. I think I just go Sableye into Shadow Sneak. He has no more. Yeah. I could go Pelipper actually and weaken stuff here. Pelipper into what though? A Hydro Pump and risk a miss. I don't have to worry about that right now. I think I think I just go Sableye and go for the Shadow Sneak. 
Sableye into Choice Band, Shadow Sneak. I don't know. It might kill this. Jumpluff's defenses are pretty darn weak. Choice Band. Choice Band, Shadow Sneak might be enough to take this guy out at 25% HP. And it should sweep the rest of his team as well. Yep, 25%. There we go. All right. Pretty sturdy, pretty solid randoms game. This should be the W. I like this guy's name. Zolfius. A few more Shadow Sneaks should be able to take this guy out. I'm not really going for any long-term randoms prize or reward at the moment, to be totally honest. That one-shotting is pretty crazy. That's a lot of damage. Um, I kind of was just in the mood. Today, I have the energy. I'm not streaming today. I'm in the mood to do some PvP, some randoms. So I thought I'd go ahead and jump into it, and I'm glad I did. This was a really, really fun game for me. Probably not as much fun for my opponent. Apologies for that. But I feel like I played it pretty well. Proud of that double switch. It's always one of the most satisfying. It's always one of the most fun things. When you when you pull a double switch in PvP, it's probably one of the most satisfying satisfying plays. GG's to my opponent. A lot of respect. Didn't BM. Didn't draw it out. He just went ahead and took the L. Respect it, dude. Good luck on your future matches. There is game one. You know what? I'm feeling pretty good. I don't know if I'll play three games today, but let's at least jump into a second. All right, here we are jumping into game number two. Once again, got to screenshot this. I see a choice band spirit tomb. That's always going to create for some fun interactions, I'm sure. Choice band spirit tomb, Eviolite, Lickitung, Togetic. Eviolite, Togetic could, can be like ridiculously good. That Pokemon can be so, so powerful in randoms, like so unkillable. Black Sludge, Toxicroak. Toxicroak, not really a Pokemon I'm used to playing with. I probably won't perform super well with it. We have Rain Dance, Life Orb, Electrode. It always seems really cool. Never really ends up being that good. Uh, this is a pretty neutral lead. Once I'm obviously slower. I don't think Motham has Quiver Dance. Let me actually double check. I don't think this thing has access to... If it does... Oh, no, it does. Okay, this is a Quiver Dance user. I'm going to Dragon Tail then. I think Dragon Tail is the safe play. He's in a U-turn. 31%. It's definitely... Oh, I was going to say Choice Band. Bug Gem. I mean, same amount of damage. Bug Gem, U-turn. Got it, got it, got it. I could have wished here as well. And my Dragon Tail misses at 90%. That's okay. I mean, that's just bound to happen at some times. That's... that's I am okay with that. I'm going to go ahead and go for... I'm Eevee Light. I could go for a Wish... Go for Seismic Toss, Pressure. I think Wish into Protect is good. It's going to go for a Trick. That is going to disable me pretty aggressively. I'm not going to lie. Putting a Choice Specs onto my Tanky Lickitung. Haven't played Randoms in a while. I didn't expect the Trick Gardevoir. That is pretty disabling for me. I'm not going to lie. That is pretty unfortunate. Now, what is it going to have? It could have Thunderbolt Coverage. It's obviously going to have some sort of Psychic or Psy Shock. Do do what could I what could I go to that could be a problem here for this thing? Comes the question. Wormadam. Wormadam might actually well No, it won't have access to it. It could be like a Eevee light on it, but Wormadam could actually be the play. Wormadam could actually go hard here. Level 63 though. It's so low level, so switching in. But we do get a neutral switch. It brings in Vile Plume. Okay. Wormadam could go hard here. Now we're going to have a really neutral fight here. It might have access to Hidden Power Fire, which would be a nightmare for me, but I think it's worth the risk. I think I'm slower naturally. Yeah, Vileplume's pretty slow. Oh, the Sludge Bomb is just going to one-shot me, actually. Really? I'm that frail? Holy shit, I know Wormadam is not the most powerful Pokemon, but really, a Sludge Bomb one-shots me. That's pretty amazing. I didn't expect that. Okay, well, good to know. Now we know. I could go over to Lickitung and just spam Seismic Tosses until it's dead. Oh man, I could go Togetic here. Sludge Bomb's going to be kind of a problem, honestly, for this. Air Slash is nice. I think Eevee Light Air Slash is probably the best. What am I doing on my Toxic Croak? Setting up Swords Dance and then not doing a whole lot. Dry Skin. Spirit Tomb. Ooh, this is a weird team. This is a really awkward team. I'm gonna be honest. Not a huge fan of this. Not a huge fan. I think I just go into the Lickitung, weirdly enough, and just spam Seismic Toss and try to get as much value as possible out of it. Or I could go Togetic. I think I no, I, I use my advantage. I I need to get some uh some tempo. I use my advantage by having the switch and go into this and go for air slashes. How, how it's faster than me. Is this Specs Vileplume or something? That damage was unbelievable. That Sludge Bomb. 
Sludge Bomb might just one-shot me again here, which I'm really scared of. I'm Eevee like Togete. No way, right? I know Vileplume has a pretty solid... Like, this thing's pretty bulky. I know Vileplume's pretty, like, what, like, 125 base special attack? Like, it's pretty solid. It's pretty strong, actually. 110, honestly? Stab. Okay, goes for the switch. Air Slash into Mamoswine. That's fine. 41% since this thing is pretty specially defensively frail. I do gotta get out of here, though. I don't want this thing to take too much damage. I could go for a Toxic Technically. It might set up Stealth Rocks here. Uh, do I have an answer for Stealth Rocks? I think I just go Spirit Tomb here and then go for... I think I go Spirit Tomb here. I think Spirit Tomb's always the play. I can defog with Togetic later on, but I gotta get out of here for the time being. Spirit Tomb's gonna be pretty tanky here. Spirit Tomb can be one of the most powerful Pokemon in randoms, except for when it's Choice Banded. That's pretty dog shit. I like, it's not really what this Pokemon's good at doing. Uh, I think I just go for sh uh, Sucker Punch here, actually. I think I go for Sucker here. There's what are the odds he switches? I'm gonna ah he really does. Interesting. Okay, making me look silly. I'm really shocked he switched there. Is he expecting the banded spirit tomb? Why the switch over into the intimidate? I think I still just click sucker punch here. Yeah, doing 34%. Literally not much. U turn, doing 18. I have no idea why he went Staraptor there. That made no sense in my mind. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Trying to see if there was a reason why. Like I, yeah, I, I actually, because Mamoswine's a pretty good, like, Pokemon to just neutrally put a ton of damage into my Spirit Tomb. I don't know. I really don't. I really, really don't get why he went strapped her there. Um, I think I just Sucker Punch again. This is not good. What does he use here? He doesn't have access to Quiver Dance, Sleep Powder. Okay. Guys, see what you're doing. Gotcha, gotcha. Um, I think I just switch over to, like, Licka. And hopefully the hopefully dodge the sleep powder. But if he puts my liquid to sleep, that's totally fine. That I yeah, this is, this thing's already disabled, so I tank the sleep on it. And now I should have like sleep claws. And now I can head over to Togetic and go for the air slash play. Or switch out and go like a double here. And try to catch some sort of advantage. Sludge Bomb does do 20. Please don't poison. That'd be really bad for me. Okay, we dodge the poison. I could go toxic here, expecting a switch to cripple something. Or I could double out over to Toxicroak if I expect them. The Mammoth Swine took a lot of damage. I, like, what does he have to switch into here? I think Air Slash is just fine, actually. I think I, click, I think clicking Air Slash is fine here. Yeah, he brings in Mammo again. He's going to take monstrous damage on it, 35%. I'm cool with that. I'm very, very cool with that. And now I kind of just make the same plays. Honestly, I'm happy to just go Lickitung here, tank and attack. Just stall a little bit, really. This thing should have no way to heal. Yeah, 54%. Well, I kind of do want to keep it. I probably should have gone Spirit Tomb, to be fair. That was a crit he got on me, which is interesting. Uh, I just kind of... I'm Choice Banded. I think I click Wish here. Even though I'm Sleep Choice Banded, I can heal up something else. If I happen to wake up, he could miss the Icicle Crash. I think it's 85% accuracy. His Life Orb, he dies from his next attack. I think he switches here. It's a good switch. It's a good switch by him. Still asleep. I think I switch. I mean, what's gonna do here? Sludge bomb, probably. Sludge or Giga. I think I just go over to Togetic again. I want to keep this guy asleep and low HP so he can't sleep sleep powder me again or whatever. Sludge bomb. They're twenty seven percent. Please don't poison. Thank you. Dodging the poisons there is super nice. Now I can air. So I could actually roost here. I think I go for roost here actually and get a free fat heal. He brings in Mamoswine again. I could have killed his Mamoswine here, but I'd rather have the HP on my Togetic since it's checking his Vile Plume so well. Uh, I think I think this attack kills my Spirit Tomb. I think I just let my Spirit Tomb. No, I let my Lickitung go. It's nice. Yeah, I let my Lickitung go. He's gonna die to he's gonna die to uh, life orb damage. It's obviously nice to have that. He misses actually. That's kind of good for me. Uh, and then I think I either click. I'm on. I have specs on me right now. Man, do I even want to wish actually? Because I have to go over to my Spirit Tomb now for Death Gear Value. I feel like now I just go Dragon Tail on the wake up. I could have doubled there. I definitely should have. I don't know why I didn't even think about that. It didn't even pop up in my mind. 
Oh, I totally should have doubled. Now I just took her. Oh, I totally should have. Both of us just playing like noobs here. Like we both just did the same rotations and didn't change or learn anything from them. A crit on this. He's crit twice so far. Crit poison on the sludge bomb. This is looking like a loss, guys. I am getting some. I mean, I'm not playing well enough either. Let's see if he makes a switch. No, he just same rotations. None of us are learning. What is happening? I mean, that's fine, I guess. Interesting. It's just strange. Poison going to chip me down a little bit. I'm going to be slower than whatever he brings in for sure. Gardevoir comes in. Oh, man. Tracing Serene Grace is kind of a problem. What did I see this thing use before? Oh, I really wish I remember. Did I see it use anything? I just saw it use Trick, right? I don't know if I saw it use anything other than Trick. That was from a previous game. Look at Tongue. I think it just used Tricked and Switch. I think it just Tricked. Ormadam came in. Sludge Bomb. Yeah, I think it just Tricked before. So I actually I haven't seen it. Interesting, interesting. Interesting, interesting. Do I just sack this here? I could sack something else. I think I just... Man. I think I just click Roost here and hope he just... I don't know. Something else happens. I don't know if there's ever a situation where I can Roost back up there against his team. That might have been too greedy by me to let that go. I'm going to come over into Spirit to my guess. Man, I don't know how I win this. I could go Toxic Croak Sucker Punch, but I get demolished by a Psy Shock if it lives. It's kind of an obvious bait. I'm going to go over to this Pokemon, and I could click Pursuit here. But once again, I'm banded. I'm banded uh, on this thing. Did he go Staraptor expecting the... I see why. I think he went Staraptor expecting the Shadow Sneak. Or some sort of ghost type attack, I guess. Part of me wants to click Pursuit here or just do a double switch. I'm going to click Pursuit here. And we do catch the Gardevoir on the switch, I'm pretty sure. And get the one shot. I, there's no way I one shot unless he switches there. I think he was going to do the same play over to Staraptor. Whether I Sucker or Shadow Sneak there, it looked like a good play. So, man, that Pursuit really paying off hard. Kind of swinging this game back into a possible win for me. Whew, that is, this game just becomes actually possibly winnable now because that huge, huge play. Really lucky. Really lucky, but also a good call by me. But I didn't really have all the information. Like it was kind of a kind of a you know a free ball. Like, I don't know if I I don't I can admit that I don't know if I had the optimal like amount of information to truly make a, a complete call on that. And there was a little bit a little bit of luck involved there. Motham comes in. I definitely want to make a switch here. Scared of Quiver Dance. It used U-Turn before, though. If I Pursuit on the U-Turn, I don't get a boost, I'm pretty sure. I don't... Yeah, I don't think so. Um, I could switch out over to Toxicroak. I'm trying to think what could be wrong with this. Or just let this die. I think I just click Pursuit and let this die and see what damage I can do here. It's doing neutral damage into it, which is honestly relevant. Get, get whatever value I can get out of this Spirit Tomb. Yeah, I'm fine with this. Dude, I'm so fine with this. 30% Air Slash would have done a lot of damage to my Toxic Croak. Yeah, I'm actually super, super... I'm very okay with this. I could keep this alive here now that I know it's Air Slash coming out. It might actually be worth here to switch over to Electrode. How frail is it going to be truly is the question. And I can't throw off a Thunder without thinking about it. Like, having, having a priority in the back... To be fair, I have toxic. No, I just I just let this thing go. I have I have sucker punch toxic croak. I don't need to keep this spirit tomb priority around that desperately. Um, I think now I come in with electrode. I think I set up rain here. Yeah, I'm gonna go for the rain dance play here. He probably switches. He could just stay in, or I guess he U turns. Right? What is this thing's ability? Oh, I do have static, so U turn static could have been relevant. He goes in a vile plume. I could just explode into this vile plume, dude. This thing is a pain. But do I really throw away my Pokemon like that? I don't have. I have. I'm Life Orb. I feel like one Sludge Bomb just takes me out. I could just switch as well. But if he Gigas, no, I maybe I do just switch over to Tox. I just can't hit this thing with anything. As either is the problem, dude. Oh man. I feel like I just exploded this vile plume. Like this thing is literally such a problem for my team. Yeah, I'll take the 57%, dude, sure. 
I probably could have thundered once into an explosion, but this thing is such a fucking problem for my team. But I can't even KO it now. Like, ah, dude, ah, oh, this is so tough. Now I go Toxicroak and I go for an SD. Because he probably switches. Can I sweep the rest of this fight with Toxa? Probably not, right? I mean, I do have Black Sludge. Hmm. CC is so scary here. I'm not that fast. I'm 171 speed. What's the rest of his team? 181. I'm like, his Thoraptor is faster. His Thoraptor Brave Bird definitely just... I think if he... Yeah, I think he just... I have to play around his Thoraptor. Because that Brave Bird definitely one-shots me. Yeah, any any Staraptor Brave Bird definitely is gonna one shot me. So my like throwaway move has to be in its my Lickitung's not gonna uh, do any recoil damage with the Brave Bird. This is gonna be a really close fight. I think I take the L here. Staraptor comes in. Like I'm pretty sure this thing just one shots me. The Intimidate is so good against me. I go for the SD. Like I have to throw off the Thunder Punch here and just hope that I, the only way I ever win this game is I throw off a Thunder Punch here. I could sucker actually and hope that I kill. I'm going to go for that, actually. I think that plays better. 37%. I don't think... Uh, final gambit! Okay. I mean, that's good for me. That's actually totally fine for me. Wait, what? Okay, that's fine. I think he was just trying to do 50% or whatever, but that sucker... Okay, this is actually winnable. If Toxicroak... I, I'm not... I think I said the very beginning of this. I'm not experienced with Toxicroak. I'm not used to using this Pokemon. I don't know its numbers. I, I really don't know how good it is. Um, do I go for an SD here? Like, how powerful is this Beedrill going to be? I kind of want to go for one SD. I feel like that's so greedy, though. Does this thing have SD? I feel like I go for the Thunder Punch into the Sucker. I'm going to go Thunder Punch. Yeah, I, that's what I thought. I think this thing might have SD. So I'm going to go for the Thunder Punch here. Go for a, a Para would be huge. 40%. 10% chance to Para. We don't get it, but that's understandable. Sucker Punch should do really similar damage. The question becomes like, what? Like the question becomes, does he attack here? I think I just go for Thunder Punch one more time. And then I can spam. I think it's really safe if I go Thunder Punch one more time. If he goes... The Giga Brain play, I think the way he wins is if he, if he goes SD here expecting me to sucker, that would be really smart. But the issue is I'm purposefully going, this thing does no damage. Oh, that's so good. I think I might even just set up against this then. Is he, unless he's baiting something. I'm going to set up an SD here. That's actually so good for me. I think I win. I think this Toxic Crook is going to sweep the rest, which is unbelievable. Ugh. Oh. I felt... I always say, like, in randoms. Oh, man. I don't know if I deserve this win. I played really shittily around my Wormadam. I, I can't believe my Wormadam died to one Sludge Bomb. I know... It, why is it level 63? It's a... I know it's Quiver Dance. I know it can be powerful. But, like, really? They balance Wormadam by making it level 63 in randoms? That seems pitiful. Versus a Vile Plume level 79? That seems crazy to me. I don't know. Whatever, man. I was saying randoms. I feel like I feel like one. I feel like randoms is so skill based, but I did get some good luck here. I feel like one out of ten randoms games is unwinnable from a from to a decent extent. Like your team is so weak compared to your opponents, and then I feel like another one out of ten games is unlosable because your team is so much stronger than your opponents. So like two out of ten games are like aggressively affected by RNG. I would say, and then I think, but once after that, dude, I feel like. Um, I outspeed everything from here on out. That's so good. I just clicked Sucker here, I think. I think I just spam Sucker here always. Because even if he goes for an SD, I just spam Sucker here until he attacks me. Yep. That's so good. But anyways, I feel like... Uh, I feel I love randoms. It's a very, very skill-based format in my opinion. Um, concealing information is so important. I think I just clicked Sucker here. What are the odds he kills me in some weird way? I just clicked Sucker. That's fine. What does he do here? Oh, he has Moonlight. I didn't expect that. I hadn't seen that all match. That is kind of scary. I mean, I think I'm fine. Oh, I think I'm fine. Oh, no. I mean, I just spam Sucker. He could be try. He could try to PP stall me. He could try to spam Moonlight for a while and catch me off guard and try to PP stall me. Oh, is that what he's trying to do? Well, I'm faster than this Mothum for sure. But I just Thunder Punch here. 
The PP stall is kind of genius. Is he going to go into Vile Plume and then go for Moonlight again? That would actually be really smart. He's trying to get me to Sucker. Oh, I just one shot his Mothum, though. Let's see if he does the mind games. Because, like, there actually is a world here. Letting me heal up, though, is pretty crazy. He has to Giga Drain me here. I think I just. Maybe I just Thunder Punch then. Because he has to Giga hear me here. I could just Thunder once. Let's see if he goes for a Moonlight. Okay, nope. 49%. A Giga Drain does 21. Like, it's, it's like, that's what I was talking about. Like, I, I feel like this game is possibly losable. I think I go for a Thunder Punch here. Predicting the Moonlight. I could lose this game still. Oh, man. Should I go for SD ever in this situation? I'm going to go for one Thunder Punch. Only 10% chance to pair. That might be kind of dumb. Yeah, there's the Moonlight. Okay, I'm going to SD then. Oh, this is actually really scary. Which is ridiculous to say, but it's true. Or do I just always actually sucker here? Because you know, I know he's going to attack. He never moonlights here. I just go for sucker here. 75%. That's a crit. Okay. Whew, that might cause me to win. Well, let's see how much damage. Let's see this. 34. How much did I do earlier with with uh, Thunder Punch? 25. I think, I think he moonlights here. And I have to SD... It's just a close game. Well played by my opponent. He's really, he's really digging deep. He's going for like all of his win cons. I respect it, dude. I respect him playing like this. You've got to go for these win cons. I think both of us played this pretty well. And now I think I always go for sucker. Nice. 62%. Not needing a crit anymore. There's the Giga for 20. He probably moonlights again. I think I just go for thunder punch here. I think that's the safe play. How much does Thunder Punch do now? Doing 37. I have a chance at Para. He's going to Moonlight there, of course. I'm going to heal from my Black Sludge, which is relevant. I think I just keep Thunder Punching. There is, there's never a reason to... Um, I only have one Sucker Punch left. I'm going to go for Thunder Punches. 33%. I think he's going to keep... Yeah, I, I, I was what I was saying. I think he's going to keep Moonlighting. I only have one Sucker Punch, and that damage is relevant. This is a really, really close game. Uh, is it ever worth to go plus six there? I think it is. I think the plus six... I'm going to go for Sucker here, I think. It's my last Sucker. Yes! We catch him on the attack. 64%. I was like, I'm pretty sure he's full HP. I don't think he Moonlights here. I don't lose this game, right? Should I have SD'd earlier? I don't lose this game, right? Surely not. I know Moonlight doesn't have that much PP either. No way I lose this game, right? That would actually be pretty devastating. I'm not going to lie. I think I just Thunder Punch here, right? Or do I go for the SD on the Moonlight? Does it ever matter? Do I lose? I'm actually terrified that I lose. I don't think I'm, I don't think I'm, I think I have the rolls. 38%. Yeah, I think as long as I'm above 33 or whatever. Oh, no. Do I lose? I'm actually going to be so bummed. How much moonlight? I didn't keep track of moonlight PP. He's got to be low. Uh, I think CC actually does more. On the last attack, I should hit him with a CC, shouldn't I? On the very last attack, yeah, I think I go for a CC. Really? Oh, my goodness. No, this is actually really bad. Do I lose here? Do I have SD'd? I'm going to go for an SD here, assuming he moonlights, because he's expecting me to Thunder Punch. I'm going to go for the plus one into plus six. No, he did does. That's really bad for me. I'm fine. I still can tank two more attacks. Do I lose here? No way. I go for Thunder Punch this turn into CC next turn. Dude, my heart's actually beating so fast. What a, what a game, dude. This could, I mean, either either player could deserve this win. This is tough. 10% chance to para still. Haven't seen it. Sludge bomb. Oh my god, I live the sludge at 3% HP. Oh. <laughs> I go for CC here. I don't think I have enough damage. I think I lose, guys. No way! Oh, the CC actually kills Stab CC. It's enough. I probably could have won a while ago then, but I didn't know the damage roll. 
Oh, that was so nerve-wracking. Hopefully he didn't think so. I didn't mean to like BM or Santa. Oh, that was a little shiny encounter. Cool. Wow. Oh, that was so nerve-wracking. That's going to be it for today, dude. Just two randoms. My heart can only take so much. It was a lot of fun. That was a really close one. I probably should have won that last one a lot earlier. GG's to my opponent. Like this video. If you guys like seeing me play PvP, it's always cool to see it. These videos do get less views on average. So if you like seeing it, make sure to like the video. Dislike if not. Subscribe to the channel for daily Pokemon uploads. Uh, streams Monday through Thursday at 12 p.m. ET on Twitch. And if you want to go above and beyond and support the content, YouTube memberships, Twitch Prime, Twitch subs, and PayPal slash Venmo do help out a ton. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. I'll see you guys later. Peace, Arena. Hey, thanks so much for watching the entire video all the way to the end. I really appreciate that, and I hope it was a positive asset to your day. And I also want to quickly say extra thank you to everybody whose name is on this list and goes above and beyond and allows me to do what I do. Thank you very much. Have a good one.